Hello guys, I'm back with another video. In this video, I'm going to tell you how to set up auto spin 2.0, the stable version of the auto spin that I have made earlier, which consumes less RAM and stability is more. Both rooted and non-rooted users can use this. For non-rooted users, you need to be a user of Fake GPS Pro or Fake GPS Root user. Uh, those apps you need to use. Or if you are a rooted user, you can use GPS joystick. And if you are old security patch user, you can use the GPS joystick app. So you need to use cloned apps uh, as you know the for the safety and also let's begin the setup files you need to gather the files uh, the files we need to uh, gather the files that is first one is the master file master file is for everyone you need to download that first download the master file and then you need to choose the spinner file according to your display resolution so Spinner file has two categories that is rooted and non rooted. If you open the spinner link, you will get something like rooted and non rooted sections here. Let me show you. So, first, let me show you what you need to do in after opening the link. After opening the link, so it's taking some okay. After you open the master file link, you will get a download button like this and click on that and download the master file. Master, this is the master program that runs and the additional add-on software is this that depends upon your device. So I have made earlier for limited devices. So now we, I have made almost like five different devices, five different resolution type devices. Here you will get rooted and non-rooted sections choose according to the phone you are using if you are a non-rooted user click on non-rooted if you are rooted click on rooted and select the file according to the resolution of the screen so you can see this resolution written down here in the name so my phone is like 720p resolution one uh, redmi 4a uh, so if you don't know what is your device resolution you can just click on click the model number you are using the phone model number I'm using Redmi 4A, so I will type the Redmi 4A display here and Google it. So let's see the features here somewhere. We can find the resolution. So yeah, we are not able to see any resolution here. Let's click resolution. So device model number, display resolution. That's it. You'll find what is your device resolution here. 720p. Uh, by 1280p this is the 1280 this is the resolution i am using so i will download that file so for non-rooted click on non-rooted folder for rooted click on rooted folder you will find the same files but they are different for rooted and non-rooted and device to device the depending on the screen size the performance differs after downloading the files both spinner file and auto spin master uh, master file that is after downloading the master file and spinner file you need to extract these files in your internal sd card so after downloading the files you need to extract the master file master file zip in this zip it contains the program auto spin master this is the main program that can be used for everyone and extract it to the internal sd card out, move it outside the folder and you can see uh, I have already all types of files this is the spinner file so you need to extract the spinner file according to the you have downloaded it according to your screen size you need to extract that as well and this is the london hundred stop dv file that is uh, database for auto walk for gps joystick app users GPS joystick the app in the GPS joystick app users you can use that file and fake GPS root.db is for fake GPS roots users here is that app so this app users can use that file and also FGPS London is for FGPS pro fake GPS pro users this is a free mm -hmm. app and you guys can use these files to set up auto walk so if you know how to set up auto walk you can use the auto spin file so if you ha haven't seen my previous video go and watch it to set up auto walk and you can use this following apps to 
set up your auto spin so auto spin requires two apps this is the tasker app and auto inputs so tasker app is only for rooted users and non rooted users no no auto input is only for non rooted users and tasker is for both rooted and non rooted users so tasker is the tasker this is the setup let me uninstall and show you from the beginning what are the changes you need to make after installing the app so rooted and non rooted users both you need to follow this step install the tasker auto inputs is only for non rooted so non rooted users you need to watch the auto input setup as well so i have installed the tasker now yeah installation is completed let me show you how it looks inside the tasker so after installing you need to agree for the terms and conditions which normally any app will ask for you so here is here you can see the preference button uh, option let click on the preference option and, and tick the beginner mode just remove the tick from the beginner mode and go to the monitor section swipe here and you can go to the monitor section in this you will find gps check seconds now put the gps check seconds to 2 and gps timeout seconds to 1 after doing this you can just come back again click the back you will see four tabs in the tasker so click on long press the task you can see the task tab long press it and you will get you can navigate to your internal folders here is the internal file just click the upper arrow you can see that up arrow so click on the tap arrow and you can see the auto spin master here i have installed it so because i have extracted that file auto spin master this program i have extracted to the internal sd card i am easily able to install the file from the internal sd card so i need spinner file so yeah spinner file. So they i have extracted the spinner file 720 into 1280 uh, so I need to select that inside that I have the spinner program and finally I have installed both the programs spinner and uh, auto spin master and the spinner file for non rooted users you need to install app auto input so auto input you need to enable the accessibility for first time installation just you need to go to the accessibility after installing go to the accessibility you will find auto input here you need to turn on this button so if you turn on first time so some phones get hang and the touch becomes uh, irresponsive the touch will not function properly after turning on the accessibility so what you need to do is long press the power button and reboot your phone the phone will automatically start and the uh, button will be enabled from then you can use the auto input file and everything auto input app and everything just you need to install and allow the accessibility and leave the app that's it so non rooted users you need to do is allow the accessibility for auto inputs that's it uh, no need to open the app again and again so here go to the tasker everyone both rooted and non rooted users go to the tasker and click on location enable the location permission and better to allow all the permission for better performance but uh, location is enough for you auto walk is required for this program because auto spin is an extension for auto walk you can check out my previous video on how to set up auto walk and um, continue the process so you need to let me show you what is auto walk is so this is the root file these are all the points you can see green points here let me let me zoom out okay these points are pokestop for example and these coordinates should be match should be in match with test file this is the test file i will provide the link in the description you need this test file to be 
stored in your internal SD card outside the folder. Just you need to download the folder, download the file, and move it outside the outside the folder. So download that file, text file. This text file should be placed in internal SD card out of the folders and everything. You, I think you understand it. So after moving that file. And though co those coordinates and these coordinates data and the uh, test file matches together and triggers the auto spin. So I have started the roots here. What you need to do is start the roots and pause the location. I have paused it for rooted users and Jesus basic user. You can understand that you can pause it and come to the program and open the auto spin and click on the play button. You can see the play, but play button there. You need to just click it and leave the app running in background. You will see the flashes, but no need to worry about it. The app will the app will blink. The tasker will go up and down and everything. The program that means the program is running. So I have on the location started my routes and everything. I will show you in other phone because here I can't show you properly because the screen recorder will not work here. If I show the auto spin together with it for non rooted users, so you saw the .db files earlier. Those after restoring the files, you will see the auto walk here. Auto walk files routes. And these are the coordinates of all the Poké shops and walk path. So this walk path is just click on the play and it will automatically take you through the Poké shops. You need to open the game and start the route. That's it. So I finally got the chance to record it from another phone. Uh, I'm in my friend's home. So what you need to do is click on the play button as we have seen earlier. Click this play button. And let me stop it. I have to start the joystick first. I will load the routes here. GPS joystick users need to start the joystick first. Enable the joystick here. You can see the icon here. GPS joystick icon. Click on the map that is in the middle. Uh, by clicking the map, we can load the routes. Here, load route. Click on the load route and check the auto walk files. I have many auto walk files, but I have only made auto spin file for limited. So I am just releasing the London first file. I will release the remaining soon. But hope you encourage me and just motivate me. So now open the auto auto spin and that is uh, auto spin master. Click on that play button like earlier. And I have paused the route here now. I will click the play button here as well. So make sure the icon the red icon and the red pointer in the compass of pokemon go should be facing the weather icon okay the red point of the compass should face the weather icon remember that and you need to keep the screen like that and start the routes yeah game has loaded completely and now i am walking through the poke stops yeah it's asking me uh, permission so tasker will ask permission for rooted users for non rooted users uh, you don't need to you will not be asked anything because you have already enabled the accessibility for auto inputs so let's make sure yeah the program is running let me start the routes load the routes here so I can hide the joystick as well, but uh, first let's see here's the poke stop how it does will it work or not? So you can see I have removed my hand, not even touching. So yeah, it clicked the poke stop, it spin the poke stop, and also close the poke stop. So, so open the poke stop spinning the poke stop and closing the poke stop these are the three simple acts that is it is doing so yeah it will do it much quicker 
not an issue so rooted users you will feel very easy you will feel performance is uh, more stable than before but non rooted users it depends upon your ram you need a better ram for non rooted users but yeah i have made my whatever my efforts i have given my efforts to reduce the ram performance reduce the consumption of ram and performance but we'll see need to know the feedbacks from the non rooted users that's it so yeah you can see that it is spinning automatically everything because the program is running in back side speed up the process so what are the things you need to uh, set up before this is keep the phone in do not disturb mode and also make sure you have not uh, no, no apps running in background you have not receiving any calls so at that time because the call can interrupt this process uh, we'll be adding some more features soon you can hide and show the joystick here so gps joystick has the feature so let me stop this uh, let's show the joystick i will stop the process so how do you stop so it's stopped at poke stop let me see how it does i stop the roots now so yeah <laughs> 10 kilometers okay so oh no 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 i am stuck inside the jo inside inside the poke stop so you can see it's trying to spin the poke stop again even in it's spun already so yeah it will whenever you are inside the joy inside the poke stop whenever you are in the poke stop coordinates near to the poke stop it will automatically spin so when you step outside the poke stop it will not spin anything and it will be stable now so what you need to do is stop the roots now so you need to stop the auto spin program here go to auto spin master same uh, you are running the tasker in background so go to the tasker and click on the stop button and you can also disable the tasker so i will show you here in closely while you are running you will see the box here you need to click this and stop the auto spinning program and disable the here it it shows enable but it should show it will show you disable you click on the disable uh, disable tasker and that's it and this non rooted users you will see this icon something like this uh, here you can see auto input is running so you can disable that by click clicking here accessibility in foreground so you can click that and the program will stop for you as well next will be auto catch so hit that like button <laughs> Thank you.